Okay, brothers and sisters, I'm back. I'm sorry about that interruption. Uh, my friend stopped by. Um, and I'll, I, just, I just cut it off. It kind of took me by surprise. Anyway, it is still September 19th, and it's 10.55 p.m., and I wanted to go ahead and finish this up in case any of you watch the first part and want to hear the rest. Okay, well... That's all I was going to play of that video anyway, exposing Dr. O.R. Now, I'm going to find the one of the links of that lady who has a lot more to say about him, but doesn't tell this part. And she might in one of her others. There's a whole lot of them. If you want to learn more, because maybe you think he's good, and maybe someone was just, you know, putting the mouth on him. We know that happens, that the prophets of the Lord are being uh, attacked and lied about left and right. We do have to be careful who we follow and who we believe and what we believe, okay? So, um, see, I had used to follow this man, and the Holy Spirit led me to checking him out because of some stuff he was saying that didn't sound right or some prophecies that didn't come to pass and the lady I think her name is Leah Mack is the one I gotta find it and put a link to one of her videos so you can check her out if you want okay and she has a whole lot more to say about him and um because he's getting so much fame. Because he's got this John Templeton Illuminati Foundation backing him up. He's got access to their equipment for holograms. And um, making miracles happen. Because he's gotten himself close to Satan. He has demonic powers to heal. Like, like nobody's business, you know. And anyway, it's just important that you all know that I hope you haven't found him because I shared um, this video. Let me find it again. I'm going to put her. Um, it's Pearl Caleri. Now, I hope if she sees this, I'm saying Pearl. I'm not saying anything negative about you except that you have to do your due diligence to search this man out take that video down that you've got showing him like you're proposed like you're uh, i'm tired I, you know what you're okay y'all advertising him whatever okay so if Y'all are watching Pearl Kaderi. Um, I unsubscribed because of her own prophecy that didn't come to pass. And I know I've said things back when I was new. See, when you're new, I don't know how new she is. I don't know. I have not researched her channel. Um, somebody sent it to me in a link in my email and I listened to it and it sounded real urgent you know like something was going to happen in seven days and I thought well okay I'll better put it up and then if it's false it won't come to pass uh no harm done but if I don't put it up and it does come to pass then yeah you know you did I didn't do my job okay so, it's kind of hard to balance, you know, checking everybody out, all the emails I get, people wanting me to watch this video, watch that video, share this, share that, oh, this is a good one, you know, they're all good, you know, a lot of them, and I just, you know, mess up, I'll go ahead and share one without checking things out, so, y'all have to forgive me for that, so, anyway, Pearl, I hope you will um, just check him out and and realize it's okay. We all 
we all do this at times and just um, learn from it and and don't worry about it and and pray for more discernment about messages you get and make sure all of you that receive messages from the Lord are doing your spiritual warfare. That you're pleading the blood of Jesus. You're closing any possible open doors by getting rid of anything in your home that's, that's from the occult. Like dream catchers or chimes or... Um, oh my gosh, I did a whole series on spiritual warfare. You can find list of things that are demonic or of the occult sometimes it's a little statue from japan that was hand carved and blessed by a shaman and you had no idea you just went to japan and bought it you know or someone from over there mailed it to you and you thought oh cool this really neat souvenir even from hawaii do you realize how many People that live in Hawaii are still in their pagan culture. We have pagans here, of course, but most of them are not. Most of them are not in a false religion, going around blessing things. I know there are religions that have shamans and similar things here. There are some here, um, since we are the melting pot of the world, right? That was all. Um, Part of the New World Order plan, if you didn't know that. And now I think I'm just rambling. So I'm going to say I plead the blood of Jesus over both of these videos. And I hope that I tied it together cohesively and helped you to understand um, what it is I'm trying to say. And if not, just ask me. And... I'll answer your questions to the best of my ability. Okay, how about that? Okay, I plead the blood of Jesus over the videos, the internet connection, and over each and every one of you and all your devices. And with that, I will say goodbye, good night. I'll talk to you later.